Hey, hey guys and girls, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a pattern on a curve and make it with a certain condition. It needs to be normal to the surface and also tangent to the curve. So we're going to create these stitching here and as you can see it it's uh, variable each pan is changing and you can see on the left side as well it's always perpendicular to the surface and following the, the curve all right so let's get started i'll create the stitching on the top here all right what you need to do is uh, with the pan tool you can pattern that along a dimension and you're gonna create a first point, a datum point and what's really handy when you click a point on the curve and make sure you want to click on the whole curve so I, this one's only going to that particular point it's very important that you tap right click to select the whole curve now this point is going to travel along the whole curve and you can, if you put the point not on the end but just off the end you put in an offset value so that's a dimension and that's really important for us to to be able to pattern along that dimension and it's going to follow along the curve because the, the point is always on the curve so just create the first point there and we can show the points by turning points on here all right next is all right i'll just pan that so you can see that now so if you select that point go to pan in this pan if you select this real rel relative positioning we can put a the size for each pan so let me change that make each increment to be 0 0.03 and we can put in the numbers so we put 25 now and there you go it just pans along the the curve and i'll make that uh make that, make that point 02 and make that 45 and you can set how, how many you want so i'll make that 50 to go all the way to the end there and there you go, you have the points moving along. Now another thing we need to do is create an axis. When we create this axis, make sure you select the surface and also the point. When you click the surface, it's points up to normal. And this is really important to make sure your geometry is facing normal. And what's really handy is when you go display, you can adjust the, the length of this datum so it's not messy we'll make it shorter and so these white boxes that handles and they let you drag them and that looks fine and we accept that and to turn on the axis, axis we we'll click on there all right since we have the base um the, the base pan if you click pan again it recognizes from the, the previous pan it's called reference patterning so we can apply it applies that axis all the way across all right we're going to do one more axis um, i'll actually just undo that so we can we can do all of that in one go later on so we're going to do one more constraint this axis is going to sit on the line and the point so it's got the condition of tangent so this is important to make sure it's always on tangent and i'm going to quickly adjust the axis line to keep that clean so we just go drag that to the point All right, there you go. And now I'm gonna do a plane. Uh, we'll create a plane based on that axis and that axis. If you click on those two, you need to zoom out. You can see the plane, and we're gonna adjust the size of that. So drag the corners to make that smaller. So it's 
neat and tidy. Okay, so let's bring that there and that there. All right, I draw that plane there so we can draw our um, turn on the plane here. We're gonna draw our uh, our, our design, uh, our, our stitch, and it's basically a, a ring shape. Um, we're gonna draw on here. So we, I selected that plane. What? Well, I'll show you that again. So go to sketch, select this plane we just created, click sketch and to reference these things we click on reference click that to load that in and close and I'm going to create an ellipse with center so I'll draw an ellipse like that and you can put in how much dimension you want and I'll make that 1.6 and click OK and with that sketch, to create the stitch, I'll create a sweep based on that sketch. And I'll put in a circular cross section. So circle, click on there, and I'll make that about 0.8. That looks fine. Click OK. And um, we'll apply that, and you can see the first stitch there. Alright, so to pan all of that, we simply just need to you can group all these together and pan that along. But uh, yeah, so you can just pan each one at a time, or or just group them all. So I'll go in and delete the pan of the points, and I'll group all of that and apply the sweep at the end. So. Actually, you can group the whole thing in and then go pan. But when you do this, make sure you click the rail dimension. So it's switch to relative and make that point 0.02. And I'll put that in as 50, I think. And click OK. Alright, there you go. I'll just hide all these datums. Alright, there you go. We have the stitching pattern. And that's really useful. It's very realistic and nice to be able to do that. So, uh, so it's important to select the whole curve when you do that and apply the tangent to curve, norm normal to surface axis and use point offset to make a follow line with a certain uh, distance so uh, that, that's a that's a advanced tutorial and it's it's, it's uh, important to know that thanks for watching see you later